What's up everybody on PPG's channel? This is Big Bro Fro with Mr. Mark Myatt. <laughs> and we have the ARG Atlanta champion. How do you feel, man? Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. Uh, I can't what did you play and how was the deck um, for the whole entire tournament? Uh, I played Metal Foe. This deck is fantastic. I, I thought it was going to be terrible against ABC. I didn't drop any games to that deck. I played like six of it. I, I was so happy. This deck is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, hands down, best deck. Nice. Do you feel like it's like the most consistent deck? Like, uh, yeah, it, almost like a BA deck almost, right? It, it's, it's literally new BA. Like, it's so hard to break with this deck. I breaked one time and that's because I drew zero Metal Foes. And that's like super rare. Yeah. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go right into the, uh, the deck. Uh, so I played uh, 15 Metal Foes. You need to max out on all of these because you, your ideal hand is like seeing three of these and like any of your combo cards, like Buku, Gofu, any of those cards. So you need to see three all these. Uh, you, and this one's like one of the best ones too. Even though you can't like pendulum summon it, it like it makes the full metal fusion live like very very quickly. So it's really good just to keep like a metal post in circulation. Uh, three Gofu, like best starter card in my opinion. Uh, it just lets you push your backer like super easily. It's like the best card going second. Uh, three Bumbuku and Kirin. I'm not gonna spend those cards. Yeah. Uh, three Eccentric. You want to open this card. You want to like see this card like as soon as possible. You, like as well. It's one card that outs two cards. Like. Yeah, it's like one of the best standalone um, exactly. standalone pendulum cards. What, what more can you ask more in a card? Like, it's just great. Okay, the questionable card, uh, three Ariane. Ooh. Uh, I don't get why people don't play this card. Um, literally opening two Metal Foes and this card is four cards. Like, why would you not run this card? <laughs> um, like, searchable traps are just broken, obviously. Um, it's like the same reason why BA was good for so long, searching Fog Blade. Um, but yeah, you're searching strikes, and in my opinion, it's a little bit better than playing like Dimensional Barrier because when you play like Ariadne and Strikes and Warnings, it's like you're playing seven of that card, so you see it a lot more consistently. And then I play Luster, I only saw this card like one time. This yeah, card's Lu amazing. Luster's godly in the yeah, Metal Foes. This card's amazing. That's all the monsters. I didn't play Hand Traps or anything like that. I just wanted like my deck to be 100% engine cards. I just wanted to like play every I single game. To play. Yes. Uh, three Desire. Um, I also played a 44 card deck. Um, I felt like that was correct. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it worked. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, three painful decision. The idea you want to see a metal foe every game. Yeah, a rota is always good. Exactly. Um, and also this card's like even better because it makes um, combination live. So your ideal is like you set you um, you set the quick play with combination and you just like constantly like recycle everything from your grave and you just so this card almost equals two metal foes every time you activate it. So it's yeah. Because before that card you'd be like, all right, you, you're losing a card to search a card, exactly. but now with new Mithrium. You're just a surgeon card, I right, cool, send the cards back. Exactly. It like fills up that card too, which is great. And then we played um, one of each. These cards, these cards are broken. Um, and then I also played two counter in combination. A lot of people don't play two of this. I just don't get why. This card is just amazing. It summons a monster from your deck and it keeps your scales alive. It's like the whole reason people like struggle playing against the deck is they can't they can't out the scales to stop your pendulum summon. and they have to like out your board every turn. And it's ridiculous because your scales always just come back off this card. Um, and this card becomes one of the best cards in the deck just because of this card. Um, yep. So yeah. <laughs> and then three strike warning for Ariane. Very very standard. Yep. Um, you, you didn't take the scolding route, but it no. doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> no, you you have too many cards set for that. You set like fusions, all these all these broken cards. Um, now, I have, now for the extra deck. Yeah, extra. I played I played Zulkin. Oh, the um, Zulkin combo still. Some people still don't play this card. I know um, I know Kamal didn't play it. Um, I don't know if it was correct. I honestly played the, like built this very last minute, um, so I stuck with like a lot of the old theories. Um, I also played this card in case I got like a wonky desires, or if I played like against Cosmic Cyclone. Like Cosmic Cyclone is like an insane card against this deck, so if they like hit your fusion off of it, it's really really devastating. So you want to be able to like at least have a chance of getting it back. Um, I summoned it like twice. It, it was like okay, um, and I didn't summon this card at all. But these two cards are really good. I played against Blue Eyes twice, so this card is like really good against Blue Eyes. Oh wow. Um, so yeah. And then two, this, one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this. So I definitely should have played three of this card. Um, you only need to play one of each of these because this card recycles all of these. So I don't know, unless your opponent like bottomlesses these, which is like a really obscure situation. Um, you'll always have access to all of these cards every at any point in the game because this card puts keeps recycling them and putting them back. You want to play two of this though because you want to cycle this card. This card makes like like keeps your board like huge. It's ridiculous. It's also a floater, um, and yeah. Funny story about this card. Um, I didn't summon this card, like, at all in Swiss, <laughs> actually. 
Um, but I summoned it every single game in top cut. Um, so that's funny. Oh, also, like, if you... Um, so, like, if you play against ABC, this is, like, a really cool interaction I learned um, in Top 16. Um, if you play against ABC and, like, you take any one of their letters, let's say you take, take, like, an A. If you take A, they actually can't affect this by monster effects because it gains A's effect. Oh, wow. And you can also unequip the A and, like, continue doing stuff. Wait, I thought it was a union. No, I thought it, it was a union it, effect. All, all A says is it, it's equipped to do something, and this equips. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> So, that is free. Yeah, it's just we live, it's we super live. it's super free. Oh my gosh! And you play the one crimson. And how how do you do summon that that oh, big three K guy? Okay, I, your partner played um played it against me, yeah. and I was like, wait, how do you guys summon this? So it's legit mainly for blue eyes. Um, there's like some instances where it comes up against, uh, comes up against kaiju's, but it's mainly for blue eyes because whenever you alkaized um whenever you alkaized blue eyes, you need some monster to be able to go into um to fusion with the material. Um, and this just gives you a free monster going to. Plus, like, if you have combination, you can, like, summon this, bring back Ori Cal. So that's, like, a relevant thing as well. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like it was a good, really good option to play. Uh, then the most standard of Exceeds ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't feel like any other rank 3 was necessary. I also didn't feel like Dweller was necessary. Uh, you win games really fast in this deck, and if you're grinding, they're honestly just losing the game. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, you win games really, really fast with this deck, and if you go into a grindy and you almost always win because your deck is just so grindy with like Mithril and everything like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel like I needed anything else for x So yeah. And then, side. Uh, this is like the best card in the game. Ooh, side blocker. <laughs> uh, this card outs everything, for you guys who don't know. Um, so yeah, we maxed out on this card. This card like got me like the whole way through Swiss. Um, just being able to like summon this into like anti spell or like it's like Buster Dragons and strikes like summoning this and calling Solemn Strike it's like oh <laughs> that just happened strike me now yeah or forever hold your peace <laughs> when, when I played against ABC like um, a lot of a lot of players still don't know that you can like call cards that are already facing the field and they just become blanks so like an, an ABC player I played pitched a strike for Buster Dragon and then set the anti spell but I had this still face up on the field. So, it was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. It was a free win. <laughs> uh, three Kaijus. I never sided these cards in once. But it was really cool for this win because um, the fact that these were like in my deck made my opponents like think that they were going to get Kaiju. So, it's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, I didn't sign them in once. I didn't even sign them against ABC because I didn't feel like I needed it. They usually just tag out Buster like right away. Especially since they see these. So yeah. Uh, two Max C. I feel like this is the only hand trap I needed. Um, Honestly, this deck breaks boards really easy. And then with Ariana, you can break boards and then set traps. So most of the time, you just need this card. You just want to like slow them down. It's it's mainly for like BA and stuff like that. Uh, three Cosmic Cyclone. This card is hands down the best card in the mirror match. Um, hitting fusion that is it's game. <laughs> like yep, hitting, hitting, hitting fusion, fusion a counter. Oh my god, hitting combinations ridiculous too because most people only play one. Um, so yeah, like this card is just a program. Um, Three system down, ABC, best card against ABC. And combination, this card. You sided been, a combination? This card oh could have been God. any other card in my side, deck, honestly. <laughs> so you uh, played with basically 14 cards in your extra, kinda, extra deck? Okay, the theory was like if I played against someone that had the same theory as me with Cosmic Cyclone, I would like want another combination in my deck. But it wasn't that relevant. It wasn't that serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you tried the next level and you didn't even it, need it to. It was honestly awful, so yeah. <laughs> four, four dead cards of the country. Uh, yeah, four deck, four deck <laughs> no. cards, basically. Um, so, yeah. So, how, so, you winning this event with this deck, would you make any changes? Um, the main deck was perfect. The extra deck, I would try my best to fit into, like, a third mithril. Like, that card is just the best card, like, in this deck. And the side deck could probably, I don't know, you probably change this a lot, whatever event you go to. So, yeah. <laughs> any shout-outs to the squad? I have a lot of shout-outs, honestly. Oh, he's going to the phone. <laughs> yeah, I gotta pull this out. <laughs> Okay, so let's get these shoutouts. Okay, he so got he was ready for this. Everybody, <laughs> he came prepared to win this event and make a lot of shoutouts. Right, <laughs> uh, shouts Break City for not breaking, we're winning. Uh, that's our motto. Shout out to everyone in San Antonio. That's where I'm from. Uh, shout out to TSR. It's a team in the Valley. Uh, really cool people. Uh, shout out to everyone that was in my car. DJ, Aaron, Miguel, um, and Troy. All the like helping me drive up here. Uh, especially shout out to Miguel. I would not have known what that stupid Paleozoic did, deck did if, if I didn't play test against him. Uh, shout out to Aaron. I'm sorry he got hoed and missed out on top 16. He got 17 plays. It happens. 
Um, shout out to Drew as well. He helped me. He like convinced me to play this deck. I wasn't playing this deck until literally the night before this event. So yeah. So, um, shout out to Swallow for lending me cards. Shout out to Logan for lending me cards. And shout out to Avery Man. Uh, cool. This event is for you. Um, I hope you get better, man. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Well, man, I'd like to say congratulations from everybody here at this event and PBG themselves. Yep. Hold up the trophy in the ring for us. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Champion, everybody. Oh, wow. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, asshole, thank you very much. Please go to PBG's site at ProPlayGames.com. You'll make this deck and test it out yourself and be a champion yourself. Thank you very much and goodbye.